And he was very clear. He used to say, you know, you can go ahead and put new trousers on a man, but you can't put new men in the trousers. Only the gospel can do that. Um, I think the initial response to that is going to be, no, that's not the calling of the church. The calling of the church is to do just what we've been talking about, and that is to present Christ in all of his fullness. Mm. And when a life is changed, then a family is impacted. When a family is changed, then uh, the wider circle is influenced by that change. And so I would say, that the transformation of a culture, which we can see in evidence in church history, is an evidence of the impact of the gospel itself, but it is not the gospel. I mean, if you take, for example, England before Wesley, or before Whitfield, or North America before Whitfield uh, gets on his horse and goes, was the culture transformed? Was the society impacted? For sure it was, but that was an effulgence of the impact of the gospel itself, not the gospel. Sure, sure, right? sure, is, sure. Is that fair? I think that's fair enough, yes. Um, it's um, somebody asking what impact Chalmers made on the city. Right. And they said he warmed, Yes. warmed it. It yes. was a cold place. Right. Spurgeon warmed the elephant right. and cast, yeah. he warmed yeah. the... Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've been reading Sharon James's book, which Christian Focus has published on how Christianity has affected the world. Mm. Um, and she goes through, you know, the centuries. Sure. Um, the slave trade. The slave you know, trade. That's uh, medicine. Yeah. Hospitals. Yeah. All of those things. Uh, prisons with Elizabeth yeah. Fry. Right. Yeah. So um, they didn't say that was the gospel though. William Booth and the Salvation Army was he was clear when he started. He had Spurgeon preach for him. Um, and Spurgeon actually had Booth back as well. And he was very clear, he used to say, you know, you can go ahead and put new trousers on a man, but you can't put new men in the trousers. Only the gospel can do that. Mm. You can give them a university education, you can train their minds, but you can't transform them. Only the gospel can do that. 